guys in this video we're going to talk about the energy of the signal uh, in the case of continuous time um, the energy is defined as uh, the integral minus infinity to infinity x mod square dt and for the case of discrete time sequences or signals the energy is defined as the sum over all n's x mod xn square so yeah let's just do some examples to clarify it more so for the first example I'll have a signal like that and I'm, I'm asked to find the energy of the signal. Well, if we go by this formula over here, we'll have Ex equals to the function x of t, which we can say is, is 3 in this range, and the mod of 3 is 3, and squaring 3 will get 9. And the function x of t is only giving the non-zero values from t0 to 2. So the limits change from minus infinity to infinity to 0 to 2. And if we evaluate this, we'll get 9 times 2, which is 18 joules. Let's do another example for the continuous time case. This time I'll have a signal, let's just call it y of t, which looks something like this. And that value of t, let's just say it's 1, and that one is half. And we are asked to find the energy of this signal. So by the formula, the energy is given by Ey. Now I'm saying y over here because the signal is y of t. Here I had the signal x of t. Therefore, I use small x to represent the signal energy ex, um, to represent the signal x of t's energy ex. So e of y similarly is going to be minus infinity to infinity y of t mod square dt. So now we have to check what y of t in our example is. And if we observe carefully that y of t is sine I guess it's sine 2 pi t and if I make this amplitude let's just say um, 2 then I'll have 2 over here as well so um, solving this integral um, I'll have y of t which now is 2 sine 2 pi t and then I have to square it so I'm going to do, I'm going to do like this thing Um, the limits um, for the uh, from the formula were from minus infinity to infinity, but now because this y of t is only defined from zero till one, so we'll have a limit from zero to one to find this e y. And if I solve this integral, I'll get zero to one. Sorry, uh, if I open this square term, I'll get four sine square. 2 pi t dt. Um, to solve this integral, let me open uh, let me uh, open this thing using double angle formula. So I'll have 0 to 1, 1 minus cos 4 pi t divided by 2 dt. Let me break this thing down into two integrals so I'll, and bring this to so our side so that becomes this thing. So we'll have 2 0 to 1 dt minus 0 to 1 cos 4 pi t dt. Now if I solve this integral that will turn out to be 0 and I'll be left with 2 joules only. So the energy of this signal, 
the signal is two gels. Um, now let me try and do example for discrete time. So let's say I have a signal something like this. So at zero is one. At one is let's just say two. And let's say at minus one it's minus two. Um, we are asked to find and let me call this thing x of n. Now to find the energy of the signal, I have to use this formula, which says that e of x is going to be equal to n minus infinity to infinity mod x of n whole square. Now if I open this summation, I'll let's just say if n is minus 2, I'll have x of n x of n is minus 2, so I'll have x of minus 2 more square. And when x when n is minus 1 in this summation, then that turns out to be x of minus 1 more square. And if n is 0, because we're moving from minus infinity to infinity, so we'll hit a point when n becomes 0. And when n is 0, we'll have x of 0. Thus, um, as you move from minus to infinity, we'll have n equal to 1. And when n is 1, we'll have x of 1 more square and so on and so forth. Similarly, we'll have few values when we go to minus 3 and behind. Now, x of minus 2 here in our signal is this, which is 0. So that thing is 0. And all the terms here will have the amplitude 0. So all those terms will be 0. And x of 1 in our case is, sorry, x of minus in our case is minus 2. So I'll have minus 2 for this. And x of 0 in our case is the value of x at n equal to 0 which is 1 and the x of 1 in our case is the value of x of n at n equal to 1 which is 2 and the value of and if I have taken x of 2 be here as well that would happen 0 because for n equal to x of n is 0 now if I take all these values here, I'll have minus 2 mod square plus 1 mod square plus 2 mod square and that turns out to be 4 plus 1 plus 4 which is 9 joules. So the energy of this signal is 9 joules. So yeah, that's about the energy. I hope you understood it and if you still have any questions, just leave the questions and comments in the comment section below. Thank you for listening.